So hear me out, these actually might work better. Welcome back to your channel. My name is Jenny and this channel is all about luxury handbags and the things that we love most. So if you love content like that, please consider subscribing. And if you're not following me on Instagram, drop by and say hello. So I thought it'd be fun to do a video on some other alternative bags that work functionality wise as well as look very similar to some of our favorite designer pieces. I always like to try out contemporary pieces that are very similar to some of the bags that I actually want just to see if it works for my day to day. Do I want to invest and, and spend so much on something if I'm not sure? And that kind of helps me narrow down my wish list and also helps me just use my dollars wisely when it comes to buying some of these bags. So let's start off with item number one. Item number one is the Dior book tote. Now, I actually have used a Dior book tote before and it is just so heavy to use and I but I love the aesthetics of it. I love the fact that it's so pretty and it looks good in all photos. However, it's just really heavy and not very flexible. So when you're actually traveling and holding it, it actually is very painful to use. Like it hurts like my arms because it's rubbing against um, your arms as you're carrying it. And also it doesn't really fit comfortably on the shoulders either. It's like very stiff. Um, there's not a lot of give to it. And it also doesn't have anything inside for organization. You would have to add your own insert, which then will add, you know, a little bit more weight to the bag when you're carrying it. So all in all, I wanted to see like what else can give off that same vibe, but a lot lighter, a lot more functional and a lot more less when it comes to cost. And when LM did this release on her Trois tote, I knew I had to pick one up because it really reminded me of the Dior book tote, but obviously very different. But to me, this is more functional. This was less than $100, I believe. Um, and I just thought it was really good. Now, I really love her stuff. I did share another video um, on a uh, bucket tote that I picked up um, and I thought that one was very similar to like the row version but this one really does remind me of the book tote but I love it because it has this front pocket here so I can actually drop my phone in and keys and things like that now I did add like an insert in here because or else it is just like a big pocket like this and it's a little flimsy for my liking so I did put in an insert this is also reversible so you can actually turn this and make the outside this blue quilted and then it also has a pocket here that would sit just like this one here now i bought this to use for beach days i bought this to use for traveling and just honestly for the summer and spring overall i just love and i'm obsessed with anything twa and I just thought this was so cute. All in all, I just love this little design. But in my books, this is like the perfect little tote for, and it's only a hundred bucks in comparison to 4,000, 3,000. So, I mean, if you get this dirty, I feel like you can just drop it in the wash and it'll be fine. But I don't have to worry or baby this bag and I still think it'll look great in photos. So for that reason, I highly recommend something similar to this. Second bag I want to talk about was, there's two this bag reminds me of. Actually, this was a gift from Oleada and I had selected this one because when I saw it, I was absolutely obsessed because number one, the color, you guys will see. Number two, the style was something I was looking for. And let me show you what this is and then let me know what you guys think, what it compares to. Love their packaging too, by the way. Um, here is their dust bag. Look how cute their dust bag is. It almost acts like a, like a tote. You can use this for other things too. But here she is. Now, I don't know the exact name of this bag. Let me see what it says on here. But this is like a vanity bag in pebbled leather in this pistachio green color, which you guys know 
I'm obsessed with greens and I thought this color will look so good for spring as well as even like fall. I feel like it, it, this green just is a very neutral color where it can work all around. Let me show you what the inside looks like. Okay, it is like in this like micro suede pink and it does have an inside zipper pocket too. And it even has a back pocket. Look at this handle. And here's where you attach the crossbody. So this bag actually works as a backpack. You can see there's um, D rings down here too. So you can actually wear this as a backpack or as a crossbody. I, you guys know, I'm not really a backpack person unless it's a big backpack for traveling. So I prefer to use this as a crossbody. Here is what the strap looks like and you would just basically attach it like so and turn it into a crossbody. So I thought this was so cute. Now, this really reminds me of Laura Piani bag, of that vanity bag over here. Um, this bag totally gives out the same vibe as that bag right here. However, this also kind of reminds me of the Bottega vanity. I know it's not leather weave, like the Intrusciato weave, but it gives all that same idea, the same like look and feel in my opinion. So all in all, I was super excited about this bag. Um, I really, really like it. Um, Oleata was kind enough to give me a promo code in case you guys want this bag or any other bag on their site. I'll drop all the information below. Such a good like alternative you did, if you didn't want to spend the money for the Bottega bag or the other bag, for example. Third on my list is the Saint Drippy Roof Bag in the size small, this one over here. Now this comes in three sizes, not the large and not the mini, but the small, well, I guess the, the mini and, or the small and the large both would work, but this totally reminds me of the Lueve Puzzle Bag. Now I've always wanted a Lueve Puzzle Bag, but the prices just keep on hiking up and I don't want it enough. Um, to spend that kind of money because there's other bags I want. But if I ever find one for a good price, I would actually snag it. But I thought it'd be great to pick up the Salmon version first because it has that same droop. So it gives off the same idea. It also has the strap that you can take on and off, which I think gives it versatility. But all in all, it's that slouchness of it that gives off the same puzzle feel. I really like the Salmon bag. Actually, it's one of my favorite designs that Salmon has released. I don't have this bag in my collection. However, I am considering getting it. Um, again, obviously, it may be green or the cream color. I think they look really nice. Um, but I think that's a great alternative if you want to see if the puzzle bag would be something that would work for you. The flap also is very similar, right? There's like a flap you open and it's a zipper. That's how you get inside the bag. That's the same way the puzzle works. So in regards to functionality, if you are okay with something like that, then that could be a bag that you could pick up. But if you don't like that type of functionality, maybe it's not worth investing like the two to three thousand uh, dollar mark for the Loewe puzzle. The okay, fourth on the list is my Coach Denim Tabby 20. Now I know a lot of people say this reminds me of the Chanel mini flat bag. I actually don't really feel like it does because that one is just maybe the leather version but because this is a denim I don't know it just doesn't really remind me of that but this does remind me of the Gucci Marmont bag so although I don't have the Gucci Marmont bag it's never been one that I really necessarily wanted on my wish list however I do really love this bag and I just think because this is a tabby and it's quilted and it's in this denim color it just looks so cute on and this is like the perfect bag that works for a casual outfit i just think this really mirrors the same look of that with like the c kind of acts like as the g and the quilts i don't know it just gives me the mini marmont vibes so if you guys agree drop a comment below but i do think that this is like a great alternative this was priced at 3.95 before taxes and obviously the Gucci Marmont is well over a thousand. I don't know what the current price is for that, but you're definitely saving a lot if you go with this. And this will, like I said, go with any casual outfit. I don't think it'll work for evening, but I mean, maybe if you dress it right, it could. Last one is actually a brand that I've been following for a while. 
Um, it is called Savette. It's not a super popular brand. It, it's a New York brand, but Italy made, and they have some really under quite luxury pieces that I personally really like, especially this one over here. Um, Cassie Thorpe actually shared this on her channel. It was like she picked up the denim suede one. She thought it was so cute. I actually knew about the brand prior to watching that video. So when she shared that, I could take a closer look at it. I actually really like it. This one is priced around, I think, like under $1,200. Um, it almost looks like, again, like almost like a vanity bag to some degree. Um, she had mentioned it reminds her of like the Bottega vanity. However, for me, this kind of reminds me of the Kelly Pochette. And I think she mentioned that as well. The Kelly Pochette really does kind of give off that structured small little vibe that you could carry as a handheld or wear as a crossbody i think sizing wise this might fit a little bit more um i'm not 100 percent sure but it does kind of look like that now a thousand is still for me like it's not the cheapest so it's something that i would still want to think about before picking that up it's not like you know it's still like above that 500 dollars mark however compares to a Bottega or Hermes is still a lot less. So if you don't want to invest in those pieces, but you want the same like kind of look and feel, I think this is a great brand to try out because I've never actually seen it in person. I can't really confirm the quality of it, but just based on my research and reviews that I've watched, I feel like it's a pretty nice quality bag and the materials seem pretty luxe in my opinion but again i have never seen it in person so i just wanted to share that these are the bags that i think you can consider if you wanted to try for buying the designer pieces or just getting these instead overall so that way you can save some money you still get the same look and feel the same functionality um and yeah like sometimes it just works best to mix and match so let me know what you guys think um if you guys like videos like this i'll make more and like always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye